Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I guess that's my hint to be very brief. I, I, I want to say to uh, Dr. Lover, I want to thank her for her ongoing support uh, throughout our campaign to bring about new leadership and a new vision for the city of Montgomery. I want to thank this church, uh, so many of you who uh, supported us in our first run for elected office in 2011, prior to being elected in 2012. Uh, it is certainly an honor to be among so many leaders of faith uh, here in the pulpit. Uh, I want to thank all of you for the work that you do uh, in our community, for everything that uh, you continue to do to make this truly uh, a beloved place and a beloved community. We want to uh, acknowledge certainly uh, the right Reverend Bishop Vastop Murphy McKenzie, uh, who if you have not heard her, uh, you don't know what kind of treat you're in for today. So I have heard her before and will hear her anytime she is anywhere near where I am because there's always something for me to learn, there's always something for me to be uplifted by that she's going to say uh, no matter how many times uh, I've heard her give a word, uh, there's always something for us to take away. And so I want to thank her for being here as well. And certainly, I want to bring greetings on behalf of the city of Montgomery to all of you. It has been truly a great weekend for this city uh, due to uh, the work of many of you uh, in making Rosa Parks Day what it is in Montgomery, Alabama. And I want to thank you for all of the work that you put in and all the effort uh, that's been involved in making this weekend one truly reflective of Mrs. Park's legacy. Um, it's very important, I think, for me to convey to you uh, my humility in being here as your mayor, uh, because I know that without acts that Mrs. Parks took before 1955 and acts that she took after 1955, there would be no Stephen Reed as mayor of Montgomery, Alabama. And it is important for us to understand that uh, she was not a person of just one act. She was a person of a life of service and activism. And I guess if there is one thing that I would like to leave you with is that we all have to take a lesson from Mrs. Parks. It does not matter your size. It does not matter your station in life. It does not matter what comes before your name nor what comes after your name. It only matters that you have the courage and, to, and conviction to stand for what is just. And if we stand for what is just, then we can continue to push not only Montgomery, Alabama forward, but we can push this nation and this world forward. And so as the mayor of this city, uh, it's incumbent upon me to make sure that we continue to do that in the spirit of so many of you who marched, who boycotted, who walked, who carpooled, who organized and strategized over those 381 days. It wasn't just Mrs. Parks, it wasn't just the pastors, it wasn't just many of the names that we've heard. We know it took a collective organization and a collective effort to bring about the change that's needed. And that should be a lesson for all of us, regardless of what position we may hold or what we may want to see done in our community and our city. And so the St. Paul AME Church, I wish you well going forward. I wish you a partnership that we can continue to build at City Hall. And I look forward to making sure that the legacy and the memory of Mrs. Parks is not just upheld on December the 1st, 1955, but it's one that is upheld every day I'm in the office of mayor of Montgomery, Alabama.